Hi guys, um, episode five here about my mentor Max and how this person who had this unique way of selling changed my life, my fortune. Um, it just made, it gave me freedom, freedom to uh, just not worry about money, uh, pay my bills, to do something for the rest of my life in sales and just have a lot of joy, a lot of fun in sales. Now, have you ever heard a salesperson, any sales trainer say that sales could be fun? I mean, laughter, enjoyment, meeting new people. I work with people, I think it's 22, 23 different countries now. I have students or mentees all over the world that I love sharing this system like I'm sharing with you right now. One of the things Max did that I never saw anyone in sales to me was stressful. You know what I'm speaking about right now? You know when you, you, you ever get that anxiety before you picked up that phone? And it was like, I, I make a joke and I say, this is like, this is like a cactus, okay? Um, you know, and if you've ever, I live in Southern California, we have cactus all, in, all over the place. For those of you who live in the Southwest, you know what I mean. And uh, you get one of those little slivers in your hand and oh my God, it, it can get affected. It, can, it hurts like hell, it takes forever to get out. Um, the phone was, I looked forward to it. And I used to watch Max, here's the point. He'd be on the phone with people and he had the speaker phone on a lot of times so I could actually listen and, then, and hear the different people, the different personalities. This is, and just on a side note, this is why I, I say scripts are caca, scripts are garbage, because there are different people, different backgrounds, cultures, different wants and needs, different personalities. How do you take one bloody script and say this works for everybody? Let's treat people as they are, unique distinct individuals. Let's adapt to what their needs are, what their wants and desires are. Max could do this beautifully. He'd listen, but he'd ask the questions while he was, and then he'd listen to the answers and get an idea of what this person truly desired. And while he was doing it, this was what amazed me. There was laughter from the prospect from him. He I, he was naturally a charismatic person because he was so confident and he had such a joie de vie, a love of life. Um, and he had such finesse skills uh, with this charismatic ability to talk to people. But what it really came down to is he was relaxed. And can you get on the phone and just relax, not react emotion? We want to make people emotional because the million dollar rule says that people make immediate business decisions emotionally. You've heard me say this a million times, but we can't get emotional. We can't overreact. We see this in the news and a lot of times, I'm not gonna get political, don't worry, God forbid. <laughs> but do you see people in the news sometimes and they're too emotional? When you get too emotional, you lose control. Max had to stay in control. He had to be thinking. This is the inner and outer salesperson that he taught me about. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but what Max was able to do was get people to relax, have fun, ask questions. Um, and um, I would see that the, even though this was a stranger, he would get the, he'd have this wonderful conversation with people and he, and he didn't close everybody. Nobody does. I don't close everybody, but I close a lot of people in the first phone call, as I spoke about, I believe in the first episode of this Max Chronicles. And he was able to get on the phone with people and just have so much fun and laughter. And I have that same, I have that same experience. I get on the phone with people. I love talking to people. I love meeting people. I get on the phone. I'm not looking. Um, I've, I've been able to relax, not be nervous on the phone and, and ask them questions like a doctor would. Okay. Where does it hurt? Why did you come in to see me? Um, uh, when did it start hurting? Uh, what, what do you do for all? Do you lift heavy objects at work and things like that? And he'd able to ask these questions and get the prospect, this is a biggie, speaking about their own experience, about their own life, about what's going on, about what they really wanted. See, most salespeople give presentations, intellectual presentations. And unfortunately, the prospect says, okay, this is a sales guy or girl. This is a person who's trying to manipulate me, trying to take money from me. Once you create that negative atmosphere or environment, it's over.
Okay, now the walls go up, the drawbridge goes up. Max had the ability to make sales just such a fun experience. There was laughter in his phone calls and in mine too. If you ever called me up, we have a good time on the phone. We Sometimes I get a little busy and everything like that, but usually um, if it's a sincere prospect and they need help, um, we'll ask questions. We'll have a good adult to adult dialogue, but we'll also, my goal is when they get off the phone, what are they going to say about me? Was it a good experience? Do they like Claude? Did he give good value? Did he give good information? Or was he just trying to manipulate me? That's the beauty of what I learned from Max. And you can learn this too. Go to my webpage, ClaudeDiamond.com. Um, there's a free book, there's free information. I got my packages, all my stuff. There. This is not a commercial, don't worry. But get, get the free book, get, get a free 15 minute conversation with me and ask me the questions that I can't answer while I'm doing this recording for you. Or give me a call, I answer my own phone because nobody deserves success more than you. you look in the mirror and say that to yourself. You gotta believe that. Bye-bye, thanks for joining me.